Do you ever get your hair done at the salon and it has that bounce and that lift and you just love that salon blowout effect? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it in a really easy way today. And all you're gonna need is air dried hair, some bobbles or scrunchies, and your hair straightener or your flat iron, whatever you like to call it. I'm not gonna make popcorn, don't worry. Have you seen those people <laughs> making popcorn on TikTok? So let's get started with this look. So I'm going to start off by taking out the front section of my hair. Now, if you don't have bangs like I do, I would still recommend just taking this front section out just to make it a little bit easier. We can style it at the end. And what you're going to do is going to take one of those scrunchies or your hair tie, and you're going to tie this into a, a tiny, strange little ponytail right at the front of your face. Now we're going to take a section about the same size directly behind this. We want to make sure this isn't too thick and it's not too long either. You also want to make sure you're keeping nice clean lines. This just makes the process so much easier. Make sure we're not going to miss any areas and it also creates much more of a smoother effect. So once you have this section, I then want you to take your hair straightener, your flat iron, and I want you to roll this over this section. And you're bringing this up and over across and towards the face. This is going to add a nice lift at the roots, and then it's going to hang over our face. Now, before it falls, I want you to put your hand in and I want you to grab it just before it falls. Now, if it's really hot, you can get little gloves that you can use. Mine isn't set really high, so I can still catch it in my hands. Now, once you've caught this, you want to take your second scrunchie. I couldn't find scrunchie, so I had to use a hair tie. And I want you to do exactly the same thing, creating a tiny little ponytail right at the face. I know this looks so strange, but we're just going to keep going with it. We're going to repeat the same process again, working in a section behind that section. Again, make sure it's not too long and make sure it's not too thick either. You're going to take your hair straightener. You're going to roll it at the roots and bring it down across the face. Now I like to do it in a little swooshing motion. This is just gonna make sure I get some lift at the roots and then it's going to drift downwards. This kind of mimics using a round brush when you get a blowout done. Again, before it falls, you wanna sweep your hand in there, catch it before it falls. Then you want to undo your little ponytail and add this in and then just tie it back up again. I know what you're thinking, Sinead, you have lost your mind, but trust me, this is so easy. It also makes sure we're gonna get all of our hair. So we're gonna repeat the process again. We're going to take a small section behind. We're gonna use our flat iron, bring it up and over, undo our ponytail and add in our third section. You're gonna keep repeating this as you move back towards the back of the head. Also, if you have a cowlick in the back of your head, this is a great time to put in some root lifter powder or even some dry shampoo just to give your hair a little bit of lift. It also smooths out your cowlick, which is why I love this technique because you're going to keep the ponytail at the front of the head and the hair is going to come up and over and be connected at the front, making sure we get a nice smooth line at the back. Now, I do not like dry shampoo. This is the only dry shampoo that I will ever use. It doesn't dry the hair out too much. It adds a little bit of lift. And unlike some of those sprays, it doesn't leave that strange powdery texture. It's the only one I swear by. I will never use dry shampoo if it isn't this one. We're gonna keep repeating the same process just till we get to the back of the head, and then we can move on to the sides. And just look at the difference here. The hair that's done and the hair that isn't. The shine, the bounce, the lift. I love it so much. Now with the side sections, we're doing exactly the same thing, but our angle is a little bit different. So we're sweeping up and then down, kind of doing the same thing as before, but instead of coming forward, we're just going over to the side, but we're still adding that lift. And again, we wanna catch it just before it falls, lift it up and add it to our ponytail. And then you're gonna take a section underneath that and just repeat the whole process again. Now, as we get to the bottom layers of the face, I then like to take everything that's in front of the ear and just leave it out for now because I can style it afterwards and still keep working on the back of the head. Now, it's up to you how you want to actually do this. If you want to just bring the hair down to the side, but then lift it up at the end, or what I like to do is I like to take the section, pull it out from the roots and already have it going in the direction of the ponytail, so going up towards the ponytail, then I take my hair straightener, place it at the roots, and then just bring it forward, if that makes sense. That way I'm guaranteed to make sure I'm getting all of the back of my head and bringing it up in a smooth shape. 
and then simply add it into the ponytail. It can be a little bit tricky as you gather up all of your hair, but that's why it's really important to keep the ponytail at the front of the head. This is gonna anchor it in place. Now moving on, I'm gonna style the front section of my hair. Now I have kind of curtain bangs, so what I do is I split them in half and I kind of just swoop them backwards towards my ear. Or sometimes I will split them and bring it down and kind of swoop it in front of my face. There's a million ways that you can style curtain bangs. It's totally up to you. If you wanna see a video on it though, let me know. I just bobby pin them into place and then I'll add some hairspray, take a bath, do my makeup, whatever might need to be done. After about 10 minutes or so, you can take out your ponytail and you should have that nice lift. All of your hair is smooth and bouncy. And I just love this technique because it is so easy. It really does fake that blowout technique. So you have that lift and you have that bounce, but you've just used a hair tie and your straightener. But I would recommend using a scrunchie because the ponytail can be a little bit rough on the head. I'm not gonna lie. Now I'm not a hairdresser. I do cut and style and color my own hair. I can't remember the last time I had my hair done by a professional, but I'm definitely not a professional. So I'm sure there's some hairdressers that will say that I'm doing this wrong or this is a really bad technique, but I just really wanted to share this technique and hope that it helps somebody out and makes them feel good and special, especially because I can't go to a hair salon. It just drains me. I usually end up having to wear like a neck brace afterwards. I'm not even joking. My neck is so sensitive that getting my hair washed in one of those sinks is just too painful. My neck is too sensitive, especially with my JHS and having pots. It does make things a little more difficult. So doing my hair at home is the only way that I can feel comfortable. And it might not be perfect, but at least it's kind of somewhat styled. <laughs> so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I will see you guys in a video really soon. I'm sending you love and hugs. And as always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. If you can't notice, I'm actually very nervous about posting a hair tutorial and I don't know why, but I just really hope that you like it. Okay, bye. Don't judge my flat iron hair straightener. It's, um, it's very old. If this broke tomorrow, I would immediately go out and buy one. I'd be out the door. And, and I don't say that very lightly. I even know which places stock it just in case it ever happens because I'm always very careful of it because I love it so much. It's my favorite. It's very hot. <laughs>